Hi, I'm Paulissima from Spring Spanish y en este video te voy a enseñar algunos de los apodos más comunes en México. And to do it, I have just the best company. Can you guys please introduce yourselves? Claro que sí. Hola, yo soy Mai. Y yo soy Jim. Y los dos somos de Spanish and Go. We've made two parts of this video. This is the first part and the second part is going to be available in their podcast. All the necessary links to check out all their amazing content is in the description. Muchas gracias. First, we're going to start with nicknames that are derived directly from the name mm -hmm. of the person, right? And then we're going to move on to some that are a bit controversial. All right, so can we start with number one, please? Yes, the first one on the list is Eduardo. So that's the name. If someone is called Eduardo, what do you think the nickname is? I think you've been long enough in Mexico to know. Do you know what Eduardo is? Yeah, it's Lalo. Ah, Lalo, yes. Porque mi segundo nombre es Eduardo, entonces yo creo que tengo un poco más de experiencia con este nombre. Tu segundo nombre es Edward. Ah, bueno, sí. Pero en español, Jaime en español. Eduardo Fernández. Yes, sí. All right, so, ahora vamos con el nombre número dos y es el de... Francisco. Ah, ok, este tiene varios. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Este tiene varios. Francisco is normally... Well, who's Francisco? Franco. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sí. Can yeah. be one. Sí. Puede ser. Puede ser uno. Franco, yeah. Sí. Um, we have a very famous Francisco who actually kind of invaded the U.S. Oh. Uh, sería... No, estoy pensando It's famously en known by the nickname. Yeah. No. You... Nacho? No. No, eso es Ignacio. Yeah, yeah that's Ignacio. No sé it cómo es... Pancho. Pancho. Pancho, Pancho, Pancho Villa. Mm -hmm. Pancho Villa, sí, exactamente. Sí, sí. Okay. So, Franciscos are either Panchos or... Paco. Pacos, mm -hmm. yeah. Pero also Fran. Fran, Fran. Franco, sí. Franco, sí. sí. Yeah. ¿Puede ser? Sí, hmm. I think so. Let me know in the comments if you heard another <laughs> nickname for Franciscos. I know we call um, the Francisco in my family, we call Fran. Fran. Uh -huh. Yeah, and yeah. I have a classmate who's, uh, we call him Frank, actually, with a oh, K even. Sí. Yeah. Okay. Sí, yeah. Sí, sí. So. so now we go con el número tres, y ese es... José. Mm, José. Is the is... name? Uh -huh. It's more it's, general, it's more yeah. common. According to Hollywood, most Mexicans are named uh, José. Yeah. <laughs> Pepe? Yes. Sí, sí, sí. That's sí. Pepe. Yeah, Pepe. Pepe. Sí. And if if the father is Jose, mm -hmm. it's Pepe. And if the the son is also named Jose after the father, then it is Pepito. Oh, <laughs> Pepito! <laughs> eh, Pepito. And you have, do you know uh, chistes de Pepito? No. Yeah, This is, that. it's a very Mexican thing. It's like, um, es como el nombre de un personaje que protagoniza muchos chistes. Mm -hmm. Es como, yeah, it's like the generic name. I don't know if you have that in English. You, you're gonna, you tell a story. It's like saying that somebody's a regular Joe, you know? Uh -huh. That kind of... Okay. So it's like a like name a, for a character that, you know... A generic name. A generic like name. John Smith. Yeah, but in Mexico, for jokes that... it Jokes that star a little kid, that little kid... It's always named Pepito. And Pepito is always like a, a kid that's very bright, but it's also very... Mischievous. Uh, ajá, travieso, okay. juguetón. Mm -hmm. uh, and they usually happen, the jokes usually happen at school. Yeah. No? Or are related to like school or homework or something like that. See, chistes de Pepito. Chistes de Pepito. Maybe we should make a, another podcast <laughs> episode about chistes de Pepito. Yeah, yeah I'm not familiar with that. <laughs> All right, so we go with the next one, and that will be... He already said it. The name is Ignacio. Sí. I ruined this one, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's Nacho. I know this one's Nacho. <laughs> it's Nacho. Like Nacho Libre. Yeah, ah, like sí, the movie, sí. you know. Yeah, yeah. I heard that it's actually inspired, like, it, it's something like that actually happened, like, in the movie of Nacho Libre. What? Like, the, the priest that it's also... Um, 
a Mexican wrestler. You didn't watch oh, really? the movie Nacho Libre? A long time ago. <laughs> years ago. I don't remember. Pero... Yeah, it's a priest and he used to work with orphans and he was also like a Mexican wrestler. Okay. Like Lucha Libre, Nacho Libre. Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, and but there's something important about Ignacio is that if you are a woman, yeah, the nickname is Nacha. Nacha. And Nacha is a bit. It's well, a butt cheek. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. It's not, yeah. It's not a Yeah. If you're Nacha. a woman, you know, yeah, that's what some people will call you, but it, it means that. So it's not, it's yeah. not very pleasant. Nacha. But yeah. But there are women named Ignacia. I mean, it's, it sounds more like an, like, Nombre antiguo. Muy ¿no? antiguo, sí. ¿no? ¿Cómo? ¿no? No hay tantas mujeres con ese nombre en la actualidad. Ya, yeah, no. Ignacia, no. Uh -huh. mm -mm. <laughs> o Nachita. Nachita, ya. Yeah. It doesn't yeah, yeah. sound as... Or right. Nacha Guevara, a singer. She, she's, she's famous. I'm, I'm going to insert a clip. Care. <laughs> <laughs> That reminds me, for some reason, of Don Horacio con una nalga en el espacio. Yes, yes, you can say it Igna with Ignacio. Also. Oh, Ignacio. Ignacio. Sí. Estoy como, ora como Igna ¿Es Horacio o Ignacio? Los dos. I both. Horacio o Ignacio. Yes. Los dos. But they both have una nalga en el espacio. So when yeah. you're not sitting correctly, like, like on something. Half off a chair. Ajá, <laughs> ajá. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That means you're sitting como Don Horacio o como Don Ignacio. Ignacio. Ya, yeah. <laughs> con una nacha en el espacio. <laughs> <risa> el próximo ah, Santiago Santiago, el futuro hijo de algunas personas que yo conozco <risa> es, es un nombre muy popular, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí Entonces, si el nombre es Santiago el, el nickname, ¿cuál es? Santi. Santi Santi O Tiago Tiago, es muy popular eh, to the point that if you go to a playground right now in basically any major city in Latin America and you scream, Santi! There will be like a hundred kids. Yeah. With that name. Yeah. Sí. It's a beautiful name, though. It's a beautiful name. But yeah. <laughs> sí, sí, sí. Okay. Those are all the, the names, like the nicknames that come from names. Now we have some more controver controversial ones, like you were saying, no? Yeah, because in Mexico, we have the terrible habit of calling people a nickname that comes from, you know, their appearance, mm -hmm. from the way they look. And mm -hmm. this can be quite a cultural shock for some, you know, for some people. Um, you'll, you'll see why. <laughs> you'll see why. Yeah, the first one, I think, is the worst, right? Okay. Like, gordo. Okay. And that is just the way some people refer to their friends, even someone in their family. Sometimes also uh, for like um, romantic relationships, right? It's like, ay, gordito, dame mi, mi agua. Like, why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gordo. Yeah, there's always somebody, you know. Well, we have a problem with obesity in Mexico. So there is mm -hmm. a lot of people who are fat, but there then will be like the fattest probably in the family. Mm -hmm. He'll get or she'll get the nickname El Gordo o La Gorda. So there's probably more gordos than Santiago. Sí, sí. Maybe there's a lot of Santiago gordos. I can have it too. Well, this was a big culture shock for me, for sure, because there are a number of names in Mexico that wouldn't fly in the U.S. They would be a problem, for sure. Yes. Like the second one we have on this list, negro. Oh, okay. También. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, this was a, a shock for some of my African-American friends, you know, when they came to, to Mexico and they heard, like, what do you call your brother negro? Like, they were super shocked. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, well, because he's darker than the rest of us. And this is really, it's not good. I don't like it, but it's real. Yeah. It happens. People do call each other, like, el negro, la uh, or also la negra, mm -hmm. la negrita, mm -hmm. el negrito. Yeah. Yeah. Even in, in, the, in the, the very famous juego de mesa, la lotería. Oh, yeah. In Mexico, one of the cards shows uh, a black person, and it is el negrito. No, It's part of the, one of the most traditional games here in Mexico, which is, yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why it's there, but it's part of the culture. Mm -hmm. We apologize. 
Sí. <laughs> we, we don't know better. <laughs> well, it's just a cultural aspect of Mexico, and I think most of Latin America just call people by what they look like, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's not always an offensive thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually almost never an, an offensive thing. It's just like, yeah, we call you negro because we think your skin is negra. And that's why people do it, or we call you. Um, do you have? A, there's another one, right? Mm -hmm. Además de negro, negra, negrito, negrita, we have another one in the list that relates to the color of the skin as mm -hmm. well, and that is moreno or morena. Mm -hmm. sí. And you know, from the three of us, we are morenas, mm -hmm. and you are the güero, yeah. the güero, which we also talk about güero, but that's in the second part of this episode. <laughs> so watch. <laughs> Yes. Or, or listen to it, right? Because listen it's, to listen it. to it, because mm -hmm. it's going to be in, in the book. Yes. And yeah, so there's always someone in the family who is lighter or, you know, somebody that is darker, and then those nicknames would be assigned to them, yeah. right? Like one is the, ne the negro, one is the moreno, la morena. El güero. Yeah, mm -hmm. sí, sí, sí. There's always one of these, there's always in the family so in Mexico, no? Same yeah. thing with the next one. The next one is flaco or flaca. Also, even if the person is not like super, super, super skinny. Yeah, so there's always someone in a family with the nickname flaco or flaca, no? In comparison to the rest of the people, maybe this person is not super, super skinny, but it's the, the it's skinny. A uh, nice word to use? <laughs> Is that rude? Well, I think it depends on the context, okay. right? It's just okay. like with these words, most of the time, as you said, they're not offensive. Uh -huh. But in the wrong context, right? They, okay. could, they could mean something negative. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, the person who is the skinniest in a family is always going to be called flaco or flaca. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, you know, it's also like a term of endearment. My uh -huh. dad um, calls my mom flaquita. Uh -huh. I, I love my mom, but she knows she's not flaquita anymore. Oh. And that <laughs> she's beautiful, she's amazing. But now my dad only, you know, calls her, yeah, flaquita, it doesn't, she doesn't look like a flaquita anymore, right. but you know, it's still, you know, out of love. Same, same thing with gordo, mm, right? Yes. Like even if the person is not actually gordo, it's just uh, something that you say to sound, I don't know, cutesy or <laughs> yes. I don't know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> Pero bueno. Eh, la última en la lista. Mm, yeah, I love this word. It's very, it's so Mexican. Sí. It's, this is, um, do you know this word? A person who is short. Where am I looking? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Chaparro. Chaparro. Yes. O chaparra. No? Instead of saying like, ay, bajo, no. Chaparro. We don't say bajo, no? Uh -huh. Bajito. En otras partes donde se habla español a una persona de corta estatura le dicen bajo. Creo que en well, peticito, dicen en, mm. en, en Argentina, creo, y en Uruguay. Uh, pero en México, chaparro. O chaparra. And also you can add the ito or ita to make it sound a little nicer. Eres mi chaparrita. Mm -hmm. Oh, I sí. <laughs> <laughs> chaparrita is, is lovely. It's like shorty. Is it shorty? Well, yeah, yeah, I guess like you could shorty. translate it that way. Yeah. 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 But I think I think it sounds better in Spanish, chaparrita. chaparrita. <laughs> it's, it's very nice. It's like cute and yeah. Uh, yeah. So what are you in your family? Are you el morenito? El chaparrito. El gordo, el flaco. <laughs> <laughs> so let us know in the comments and do watch the second part because it's going to be very, very, very good. Well, mm -hmm. so see you later. Adios. Adios. Adios.